Talk Today, about it. We're so the what the embodies all of these elements. It's like a damn resort. Right. Can we yo <laughs> what the hell? That's so nice. Top, top, top. All right, guys, so we got um, a couple of things to get into today. Um, a couple of topics, a couple of videos to get into today for you guys, man. So, without further ado, um, South Africa, what's good, man? South Africa in the building? No. Um, I really wanted to highlight, like, the um, what Africa looks like. From what we don't see what the media does not show us right so we did a video before uh of us reacted to um i forgot her name but the girl who she um what was she what was she talking about ba basically she was being sar sarcastic about how people oh, perceive yeah. africans <laughs> how they live what kind of houses and stuff like that they live in They're like no we live in huts you know we don't <laughs> We don't have Wi-Fi. We use the trees to collect Wi-Fi. <laughs> we charge our phones in bushes and, you know what I mean? Like, just being mad funny. Um, and I think there's a lot of people who really don't understand or see beauty in Africa. They have no idea what it looks like. Mm -hmm. That's one thing also with me doing all of my um, Kenyan videos when I did um, just the walking tour of the city and stuff like that. A lot of people had no idea what Nairobi looks like and what cities in Africa look like. And there's a lot of African cities that look nice. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? So it's, it's like, wow, I didn't know how beautiful um, these cities are. So um, we wanted to just highlight some of that, man. So I'm going to say it looked like Wakanda. <laughs> facts. So I really want to check out South Africa next, man. I really feel like South Africa it might be our next. African I hope country. so. That, that, I it, really it, hope so. It just feels like that's the organic one to go to. And Diamond Platinum's got me one to go. Oh, yeah. All his videos. That's where you be shooting to that? A lot of the time. You know, I be looking. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, where is that? I think that's where they sh they filmed a young, rich, and African mm -hmm. show as well, too. I think they do it in South Africa. Correct, correct us if, if I'm wrong in the comments. I know you guys will already. Um, But yeah, I wanted to take a look at some houses in. South Africa, because I actually haven't done this before. Hey Siri, what's the weather look like? It looks like you're gonna need an umbrella. It's a little bit drippy. Is this Miami or <laughs> the Cape Town? What the hell? That is nice. Look at the look at the pool that stretches like all the way around the house. And then overlooking the ocean. Hey Siri, this is crazy. What's the weather look like? It looks like you're gonna need an umbrella. It's a little bit drippy. That is nice. Can you imagine just waking up and just? I'm like... trying to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I I Yo. need these affirmations, man. Oh, this is what the president's uh, house looks like. Yo. I think our people are somewhat impressed a little bit so far about what they're seeing here in South Africa. And like I said, the expectations were, I'm going to say low. And then, uh, the day, you know, they're, they're getting it. They're getting it. Mm, I want one. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Project, project, this ain't that you want. This ain't what you want. I'm ready to go inside one of these houses. Like they, they're showing me all of this. I'm trying to go inside. I need a full house tour. Somebody showed me a full house tour of one of these jobs. Let me see if I can find one. Three weeks ago, oh, they good. Where are you seeing that, man? Oh, Billionaires Row, South Africa. That's the house. I'm gonna skim through this. I've worked with some of the largest. All right, guys. If you guys are new here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Luxury means different things to different people. I see space as luxury. I see view as luxury. 
light, sun, great weather, and that all combining with the architecture to create something exceptional. They have some beautiful and I think architecture. That's what this yes, they do. America has the worst. I really feel like most basic and simple. We're dated. And we're really dated. Like when you look at like a lot of the emerging powers and people like of today, like everything is modern. Like every like the the Middle East and Africa really seem like they really like turned up. And Far East Asia as well too. I really feel like a lot of America. But they've been like, like that, behind. even in Europe and stuff like that. Like I remember my brother was stationed in Germany Germany years ago. His house just looks so fancy. Mm-hmm. Like, it was just so fancy. And it was older. Right. He was like, oh, this is old. I was like, that is nice. Yeah. Because, I mean, living in the D.C. area, like, a lot of our houses, they just look... They look like the little houses you draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, we there's nice houses here, of course, but I'm like... Not really. But, like, the modern, like, glass house, smart house kind of style, like, you know what I mean? Like, you really can only find it, like, really, like, L.A. and mm -hmm. Miami and something like that, but... Yeah, I don't know. and not regular houses like the houses that we have cost way too much. Like they're not giving half a million, half a million, million dollar houses. two million dollar houses. Yeah, that's exactly like you look at places like Woodmore. Like those houses be costing like now like five to ten million dollars, mm -hmm. and just like yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm Stephen Anthony. I'm a director at Sota, and we are in my personal house, Beyond, in Clifton, in Cape Town. Oh, he's showing his house off. I know his job about to be lit. Architecture, stunning landscapes, <laughs> and vistas. Talk Today, about it. We're Still talking about what the embodies all of these elements. It's like a damn resort, right? Can we, yo? <laughs> what the hell? That's so nice. It's about to make me cry because you know I love being by the water. That's like my dream. I feel like that's not too big for me. Yeah, getting the house on the water. But I haven't. No, like I want a big dumbass house too. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, not that big. That's just too. It's a lot of house. This is a lot of house. Much house. But like, God, that's a lot of house. But see, I'll I'll be okay with a house like this, and I have my family and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I like, would definitely you know I mean? need my people to. Yeah, to be there. Me. Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, I don't. I don't need this big ass house with just like me and my girl or something like that. I need. I need more people here. Designed by Sayota and nestled on the slopes of Lion's Head here in Cape Town, South Africa, we're truly standing on oh my God, what some that's may the call. Pool. The yeah, that's the infinity pool overlooking the ocean. I've been waiting for the moment to tour this property and finally see it in person. So it is my great privilege to welcome you into the Beyond House. <laughs> Water, I hear Travis Scott in my head. Yo, Utopia, man. Like, to have one of the best architectural designed homes in one of the areas, like Cape Town to me, just the aesthetics of the mountains with the water, just the whole landscape Natural of Cape Town. God create, God especially used his paintbrush in Cape Town. You know what I mean? Like, Cape Town is just beautiful, beautiful, man. Oh, that's fire. It looks like a resort, like you say, like a restaurant so in there, nice. a bar. Where nice. do you need to go anywhere for anything? Like, mm, that's so nice. The entrance that to the house is on purpose a very powerful almost spiritual space. I want it to be quite a moody, mystical, mysterious kind of space. Almost like you're going into a tomb of some kind, that you're going into Mother Earth. And so the materials there are all stone. Stone on mm. the floor, stone on the walls, with thin oh, slots shit. where the light kind of shines up the walls. I almost feel like you're walking in a pyramid a or something. dramatic sculpture on the far end. Very raw steel and glass staircase on the that's, one side. That's so lame. Elevator in the house, why not? <laughs> and then you go into the lift, and then the lift brings you up into this level and throws you out into almost the clouds. The transition from deep in the earth to sky. Welcome 
to the fifth floor of this fifth amazing floor. park. We're currently in the great room, seating area, formal dining room, kitchen on the other side, and of course we have these sliding glass doors seamlessly opening the great room to this amazing terrace and to these incredible views. I know we're supposed to cover some of the spaces first, but I wanted to take no, everybody get straight to the point. so we can acknowledge these <laughs> Jesus views. Christ. This is absolutely insane. We've seen a lot of crazy views since we started this channel, but this might be one of the most stunning views I think I've ever seen in any house. The way we have the mountains, the ocean, and this infinity edge pool just kind of dropping off to the sea. It's incredible. Couldn't agree more. It it's no dropping. It's just the pool. Yo, like you can see through the video, through the camera. Like, you know how sometimes you watch a video, like it doesn't do it justice. I can only imagine what it's like. But it seems as this. though like everywhere in South Africa, just photographs so well, yeah, every no. time. Yeah, which makes me want to go there even more. Like, it, it reminds me like when I went to Hawaii, right? Like mm -hmm. Hawaii, I keep hearing how beautiful Hawaii is. Hawaii is this, Hawaii is that. But when I went there, I was just like, oh shit. Not even the pictures that I took, the videos that I made. Mm -hmm gives it any justice at all so i can imagine if we are seeing this in cape town like from videos and pictures what it would be like i ain't gonna lie guys if i if i end up going in and seeing it they, they're gonna have to kick me out <laughs> they're gonna have to kick me out i don't want to go back and welcome to the fifth level which is the main floor of this home now let's cover the seating area l-shaped couch few chairs beautiful marble coffee table i really like the light fixture here great volume i mean look at the ceiling height and this concrete ceiling is so beautiful it extends out to the exterior concrete i'll talk about the ceiling design later as well last thing i want to mention this space we have another sliding glass door opening up to the back section of this property i thought you and we was going to skip through this video because it is i thought it was i know i noticed <laughs> great cross breeze but we just want to make sure it stays a little bit calm here now welcome to the formal dining room area, solid wood table, seating for 12, modern chandelier above. I really like the dining area is right next to the kitchen. Space is very open, and even from your dining room, you can enjoy these amazing views. Oh my god, man. I don't, we don't have time to watch this whole entire thing, but Jesus Christ, man. You guys get the point. Um oh my god. Um I want, I want to go to South Africa <laughs> at this point. Um, yeah, I want to go. Um, shout out to um, Inez. I've seen a couple of his videos before. He, mm -hmm. he's, he's really popular doing um, uh, home tours and stuff like that from around the world. Um, he does, him, his team does a really, really excellent job of um, displaying home. So shout out to them. Um, but yeah, this is on Billionaire Roll of uh, Cape Town, South Africa. Who knew that? They had a billionaire row. I see it. <laughs> like, yo. Mm. All right. That is that is absolutely beautiful. All right. Um. Get into the comments. Here. Shout out to Almighty Scrapper G. He said you guys heard when Lil Durk used Ghanaian rapper called Okina song on his IG. No, I did not see that. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, we're familiar with Okina. He does, um, he does the drill. He's like the mm -hmm. Ghanaian drill artist. Okay, oh, that's dope, man. That, that it only makes sense. Like, y'all know y'all can tag us and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you guys see stuff like that, tag Top Hill. Send it, yeah, send it to our um. Know. Yeah. So, so yeah, we can see it, man. All right. Um. Top hill, top hill, top. Right.